I'm just enjoying some coffee. My wife got me this little mug here. You know, it's got a cool little saying, you know. She got this, I think, in San Jose. But what I love about this cup is that normally they print the, the logos on the wrong side. But this cup has them on both. So I kind of think about that as I laser cut stuff, you know. How are you looking at it? You're looking at it. You're being proud that you got this cool little cup that says your name. Or you could be looking at it like, does anyone else see this cup? So it's something to think about making whatever logo you have on both sides. All right, so the big difference between the Glowforge Basic, which I call R2, and the Glowforge Plus, I call D2, is the D2, the Plus version, is $1,500 more, and it has an extra five watts of power. Okay, it doesn't have pass-through, even though that on the Glowforge Basic and the Glowforge Plus, you can pull this down here in front and you can take away the uh, um, crumb tray, right? Right here, this is your crumb tray, okay? Now, if you were to leave this door open on the, unless you rigged the switch or something, if you left this door, door open, you would not be able to run the machine. Now, the Glowforge Pro, which I do not have, which I'd absolutely love, has the ability to pass all of this through. Th these are things you may already know. I'm just kind of telling you this from a perspective of someone that's had these machines for a year now. Now, I would... I, my go-to machine is the Plus, but I run different jobs in this. I mainly use my the top one, which is the basic model, the $2,500 one, for etching, for things that are going to take longer. So the other machine, I cut a lot of jobs out that are really fast, deeper cuts, like dif different woods, like for instance, um, this wood is very, very thick. It's not proof grade. It's quarter inch plywood that you would just buy at Lowe's. But I would cut through that a little bit faster using that extra five watts of the plus, which is down below, which I call D2. So by the way, I have lights here um, that are lighting this up in addition to the lights that are in actual the machines. I got this rack right here from walmart.com um, and it's all metal. I found that I can adjust the shelves and get to where I need to. Of course, I have my duct work going out the side of the hack lab, which is going over to my neighbor's house, but mostly it smells like everyone thinks it's, I'm like baking brownies out of my garage all the time. Okay. All right, so now those are the big differences is the five watts of power, of course, the $1,500 fee. Now, which one would I recommend to you? And I would recommend this. If you have an existing idea that you know that it sells, I would recommend getting the higher watt version, which is the plus, okay? Now, if you have just an idea that you want to, you're a hobbyist and you want to experiment or maybe you want to cook cut some food in your kitchen, then you're going to want to get the basic model, the entry model. But here's what's cool about it. I went ahead and got another one because I was generating a little bit of money with it, right? But I'm not getting rid of my basic mo uh, model because I love what it does for etching. Nothing has changed. I think they changed the glass a little bit on the Plus, but as far as the two machines, they still look like the same skeleton and the same carcass, and I really have been enjoying both. So here's the deal. Maybe you kind of grow into your business, okay? You can start out with the basic. Now, here's the deal. The one that I don't have is the Pro. That has something that would be beneficial to me in the summer. I'm in a garage, which I call the Hack Lab, and it gets kind of warm in the summer. I put a dehumidifier in here and it gets really comfortable. Matter of fact, a lot of people that come in, they say, oh, I'm so glad that your uh, place is, is drier but not completely freezing cold. And I, I accomplished that by just using a dehumidifier um, in the summer. So, um, oh, by the way, this is the coffee I'm drinking right now. Random fact. This is the only way that I can... Uh, 
drink healthy drinks. I consider coffee a healthy drink because of opposed to, you know, down in a, a 40 ounce or some wine in the evening. Um, decaf coffee is kind of what I do to get through um, some of the task and producing things in the evening and running orders and stuff like that. Okay, back to the Pro. The Pro is $6,000, 2019 prices. And the Pro gives you the ability to have extra cooling, okay? So what is extra cooling? Well, you if you haven't already run your Glowforge outside in a garage, you will get a error, that, not an error, but a caution that says Glowforge is cooling down. That Glowforge cooling down could slow your process down, especially if this is your side hustle and you're creating things... Um, in the evening when you come home from work. You're gonna to wanna to maximize all of that time. And in that case, if you have orders already, if you have an idea that you know that will sell, I'd recommend getting the Pro Pro model. Um, and then the referral code that I have below, it's glowforge.com, hack lab, um, you get the same referral code. So as soon as you start buying these, get a Glowforge, you will inevitably be able to make money with the referral codes, which is really a great deal. And you don't know how long that'll last. So I'd even recommend um, uh, that strategy. Just go after getting the referral codes out there, sharing it with your friends on Facebook, sharing it with on LinkedIn, all the great things that you're making. Okay, so um, if I can remember anything, the differences between what this video is about, between the basic model and the plus model, which I have down there, I'm going to think of that. Why don't we just open it up for discussions? Do you have any questions about the differences between the basic and the plus? Please leave those in the comments below. And um, also... Please subscribe. Um, I'm really trying to educate people. The more that people subscribe, the more that people like my videos, the more I'm able to do this ad-free and I'm able to um, kind of just share my knowledge with people and that I just need that little bit of an encouragement. So hit the bell. The bell will allow you to get a notification when I put a video up. I'm going to be focusing a lot more on Glowforge because that's really what I'm doing for my business right now. My side business is I'm just doing gifts and other people are recommending the people I give the gift to are recommending the the uh, me for any type of laser cutting services so um, that's it so custom design work okay so if you have any questions about the plus versus the basic plus basic they look the same I don't know why I keep on pointing at them but anyways whatever you do make something that connects you with someone else thanks for watching guys thanks for subscribing have a great week and uh, make something cool and share it talk to you later